Hello everyone and welcome back to the Pucking Mad podcast. Today I'm going to be talking about something that's quite controversial, something that I think many people are actually going to disagree with me on, but I think it's something that actually needs to be done in order to develop the league. With the announcement that 10 teams have confirmed their commitment to the NIHL National League next season, with Basingstoke Bison stepping out next season and no mention of Solway Sharks or any other team stepping up to play in the National League, the question emerges, what can be done to improve the league and hockey generally? in the UK. A few of the National League stakeholders have voiced their concerns that the country is too big. Therefore, the National League should be limited by distance, not by the country's borders. Of course, teams who think like this, I feel, should probably step down and play in the regional leagues. I think regional thinking should be rewarded with regional play. Teams have come on leaps and bounds in the last couple of years and they deserve the right to, if they fall within the nation, don't think that this whole problem of geography is really a problem. We know that obviously these teams and the stakeholders that are complaining about the distance and things like this, they won't step down into the regional leagues. They're very selfish. They're very against develop the development of ice hockey in the UK. They won't get out of the way. We have people that are stupid. So unfortunately, yeah, we have to look for other ways to improve the National League from the season 2024 to 2025 onwards I think next season's a dud for trying to implement anything new quite frankly so I think if we think about two seasons time actually we have a better chance of trying to come up with plans that might work my idea simply put is to break the National League down into three conferences a Northern Conference a Midlands Conference and a Southern Conference the Southern Conference would include Swindon Wildcats Raiders IHC uh, or, or Romford Raiders, whoever, whatever you want to call themselves, uh, the Bees, IHC, Bristol Pitbulls, and two of these three, uh, either Basingstoke Bison, Slough Jets, or Streatham uh, Ice Hockey Club. The reason why I say two of the three is because I feel like Basingstoke Bison, I hope I'm wrong with this, but I don't think they're coming back into the league. I think the body of work that needs to be done at that rink is too much. I think that if there was any work that was going to take place, it would have already happened. I just really can't see them coming back. I hope I am wrong. I hope that they come back, but I just can't see it. Um, I think Slough Jets have done really great things. I understand that there would be difficulty in trying to organise matches and stuff because they'd probably, uh, obviously, would be playing similar kind of location, things like that. But I really feel that what, what's been done with youth is really, really, really useful. And also Streatham Ice Hockey Club. Perhaps if there were conferences, there might be a situation where Streatham might be willing to actually step up and come into the National League uh, with the conference system making it a little bit more affordable to play. Next conference would be the Midlands Conference. I think this, this one is probably the least controversial. This is the one that everyone would probably have no problems with seeing in terms of a national level conference that would be the Telford Tigers, Hull Seahawks, Peterborough Phantoms, Leeds Knights, Sheffield Steel Dogs and MK Lightning all packaged together in one Midlands conference. Obviously they all play in the National League now. I don't think that they would have any problems with this. I actually think they would benefit as it would probably reduce their costs overall, which is one really nice thing for them. I would say that the Midlands conference is probably the easiest one to put into place. Moving on to a conference that probably would be the most contentious, probably the most controversial, and I am sure this is the one that people would complain about if it was to happen. I'm also sure that the Scottish Ice Hockey Association would be anxious to let teams leave the SNL to play in the NIHL. If that was an issue, I'm sure that numbers could be made up by one of the Scottish teams dropping down from the EIHL because I am certain that perhaps there are one or two of the Scottish teams which could really benefit from dropping down a level. The Northern Conference in my in my little dream world in my perfect state would include Solway Sharks, Edinburgh Capitals, Aberdeen Lynx, Billingham Stars, Blackburn Hawks and Whitley Warriors. I completely understand that people are going to scoff at this, particularly with things like um, Edinburgh Capitals, Aberdeen Lynx and Blackburn Hawks in particular. Uh, this is for a couple of seasons time. There's been great things done in terms of development in all of those teams. And I feel like that development will start to bear fruit, probably not next season, but the season after in terms of quality. If we have a couple of seasons where teams knew this is what was going to happen, they knew they could prepare for the future, I think it's something where you could see these teams really stepping up and being competitive within a, a national league system. Obviously, 
it will be very difficult to, to try and get the uh, SIHL to to free these teams up. But I think it's a discussion that is probably worth having because I think it would really benefit hockey in the United Kingdom. Each conference would contain six teams which would play each other many, many times. Frankly, I couldn't be bothered to do the maths. <laughs> I'm quite lazy. You could have a national playoff at the end of the season involving the top few teams. I'm not sure how many it would have to be worked out, but I think it's something that would actually pull teams in. I think it'd be a very attractive prospect for for teams. On top of those conference games, there could be a national cup played in a league format, plus a regional cup could be played alongside teams from the NIHR 1 and 2, which could possibly be a knockout competition. I think this is quite an interesting prospect as it would allow lower level teams to test themselves against the bigger teams, helping the development of homegrown talent that plays for the smaller teams. Not to mention the, the benefit of bigger gate receipts for smaller teams when the national team come into town. While I understand some stakeholders have concerns about the National League actually being made into a National League, I think that this proposition could act as a compromise, reducing the travel costs within an organisation, not to mention the benefit of smaller regional teams when playing against national teams. The biggest question I think many people will have is how can this be affordable? I would say fairly easily. Having a truly national league would certainly attract national level sponsorship. Hotel chains could also be brought in as official partners, offering a flat rate on rooms for hockey fans and teams on hockey weekends. Travel partners with coach and rail companies could also be organised. That would benefit fans and teams alike. Of course, we are relying on the EIHA to try and organise this, so I won't hold my breath. They'd probably end up organising a horse and carts or something completely ridiculous. You are literally too stupid to insult. Obviously, they'll probably say, don't be horrible to us with volunteers, but it's nice to remind them that they are paid a wage to actually do something. Okay, so what do you think about this idea? I'm sure many people will criticise it. Many people will think, oh, this is absolute rubbish. If it's something that you would like to see, let me know. Write it in the comments. If it's something that you, you think I've gone completely mad, I'm living in a dream world, I'd love to hear your opinion on it. What do you think we could do to try and improve the league, which at the moment appears to be honest, very flat? Let me know. Okay, I will see you next time. Thank you so much.